Hi guys, welcome to your channel DNA. So let's today focus on the DHCP basics. So basically, this video uh, is for the uh, freshers, uh, right? Or those are attempting the CCNA certification. Okay. So first, in the first step, right, we will go through the entire theory, and then we will go uh, for the deep dive lab, right? So what is DHCP? DHCP is a nothing but a dynamic host configuration protocol, right? Uh, consider this is the one server, right? Allocating the IP address to the machine. But by the way, Prasad, how many way we can configure the IP address to the endpoint? Okay, so you must see this screen, guys, right? So there are two ways to configure the uh, IP address to the machine. Number one, static IP address allocation, and another is the dynamic IP allocation, right? Static IP allocation means administrator has to. Configure the IP address manually, right, on the endpoint. Consider, guys, if you have a 200 machine and you are only the one system engineer, what you have to do? You have to go to the every desktop or every machine and configure the IP address. Now, other way, right, which save your time, right, and of course errors as well. Automatically obtain IP address automatically option, the first one, right. So today we will focus on the first option which is obtain IP address automatically. Now the, when I say obtain IP address automatically means you will get your machine will get the IP address automatically from the server. Consider you have 200 machine right uh, they turn on their laptops right at the same time. So what will happen right they will go and search for the server and request for the IP address. Now we are here in the office please provide us the IP address, right? So that server will provide the IP address to the endpoints. Okay. So that, what is the advantage of the DACP? The main advantage of the DACP is your IP address will not be configured. Why? Because your DAC server is maintaining the IP allocation database. Server knows, okay, I have assigned the 10.10.10.10 IP address to the A machine, right? So that if IP address already allocated to the or assigned to the machine that IP address will not assign to the any other machine. Okay. So DHCP maintain that things. Okay. So now another thing is right. Okay. What things you will get it from the DHCP server? Of course, right. Whenever you configure the IP address, right. So you have to configure the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS, private DNS, second DNS server. Okay, so manually you can configure, but can we get these five things from the DACP? Yes, more things you will get it from the DACP, not only these five things. Okay, so basically, right, automatically you will get the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, primary design, second DNS. These are the five essential things, guys, you want, right, to run your machine or to browse the internet or to participate in the network. I can say. Now, there are two roles, right, when it comes to the DACP. Number one, DACP client right and the DACP server uh, I have laptop I have desktop I have my IP phone right connected to the corporate network these all the machines I call it as a client right client DACP server right it will assign the IP address to the client got it these are the two roles we have now next how DACP assign the IP address right there are three methods I can say that right? three mechanism allocation mechanism here. Number one, manual allocation, then automatic allocation and dynamic allocation. So then what is different between the static allocation and uh, static IP address configuration on the uh, your endpoint and manually? Okay, fine. I will tell you, right? If I have my laptop and I want a specific IP address to be assigned to my laptop, right? So what will happen? That something comes under the DACP manually allocation. Automatic, uh, automatic allocation means uh, I have a user, he wants the same IP address, same IP address with his laptop. Correct? So at that time, DACP server automatically assign the IP address to the machine permanently, right? We call it as a lease period. So lease period is a permanent. The last one is a dynamic allocation. Dynamic allocation means definitely DACP assign the IP address to the endpoint, but for the particular lease period, maybe it, it could be one day two days or maybe eight days depending on you can customize those settings got it clear DACP next 
Okay, how does DSCP work? This is the most important and critical part here. Uh, we are going deep now. Okay, now client port number, right? Of course, the uh, DSCP work on the UDP, right? DSCP is under the UDP protocol is under the right? So UDP port number client uses always UDP port number sixty eight. And the server always uses the UDP port number sixty-seven. Okay, UDP sixty-seven. If you have a firewall in between your client and server, be make sure you have to uh, allow the UDP port number sixty-seven and uh, sixty-eight and sixty-seven port number. Clear, right? Now the question is, how does DSCP work? This is one process. Dora, all right? D O R A Dora, right? Not from the Cartoon Channel, right? Dora, right? D means discovery, O means offer, R means request, and A means acknowledgement. Okay? D O R A Dora process. आप कहीं भी जाओ, you will get the same information basically, right? So basically, these are the messages, right? These are the messages, right? So definitely, consider in your land, you have a two hundred machines. Right, so definitely those two hundred machine be configured as a obtain IP address automatically. Means all the two hundred machine should get the IP address on the DSCP. So those machine should know where is the DSCP. But guys, tell me, does those machine has a IP address? No. Then how they will discover the DSCP server? Right. So in the network field, right, you know, right, if you want to discover anything, right, you have to initiate the broadcast you have to initiate the broadcast right now who will generate which message okay discovery message always initiate right by the client offer always from client uh, server to client then request from your client to server and Acknowledgement always from server to client. So Dora discovery, then your offer, then request, and then acknowledgement. Dora, okay, fix. Now whenever client will send and discovery message right to discover the DSP server, it always use port UDP port number sixty eight. Clear, right? So now let's go in detail now. Now let's focus on the uh, DSCP uh, messages. So first let's target discovery, right? Discovery message currently client doesn't have the IP address, right? So your source IP always be a zero dot zero dot zero dot zero. Why? Because client doesn't have the IP address. Okay. Next, what will be the source MAC address? Right, what is the source MAC address? Source MAC address. Even though if you do not have the IP address, don't worry. Your machine always have the MAC address, right? So MAC address will be the your client MAC address, right? Then destination MAC IP address. Client doesn't know the location of the DHCP server where it is, right? Client doesn't know the DHCP server IP address. So in that case. Destination IP address always two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five means layer three broadcast. Okay, then what will be the destination IP address in the discovery packet, right? So in the discovery packet, right, the destination MAC address IP address is all two five five, and destination MAC is layer two broadcast address means FFF dot FFF, or we can say all FFF. Clear? So this is the key point, guys. Because your client doesn't have the IP address, so your always IP address will be zero dot zero dot zero dot zero, right? And client doesn't know the IP address of DHCP server, so that is the reason destination IP address is all two by one, right? See, you cannot skip the layer three header, right? If you skip, if you not mention anything in the layer three header, right, packet will get discarded on the machine, right? Clear, right? So the next thing is discovery packet receive or frame received by the your layer two frame. Simple, right? For layer two, it's a broadcast, right? ARP broadcast or DSCP broadcast is the same, right? Once we receive the DSCP broadcast, which is a typical offer broadcast, uh, uh, discovery broadcast, it will send across all the ports, right? We'll see, we'll see later, not now. 
okay so which receive the broadcast on fa0/1 interface it will forward towards the fa0/2 interface where our dscp server is connected dscp server receive the discovery broadcast what will happen will it discard the packet no it will not discard the packet why because dscp server know the broadcast is for me right so then who will dis uh, 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 dis destroy this broadcast all other machines right all other machines will discard the broadcast okay now the next is when dscp receive the discovery message right it will initiate the offer for the client right now this this will know oh somebody need a ip address right so i have to assign the ip address from my available ip address pool right so when dscp reply back to the discovery right it will reply back with the packet or i can say for offer packet right dscp offer packet so of course offer is one packet right it will again pass to the osl and follow the osl so what will be the source ip address source ip address always be your 192.168.10.100 now in this case your source ip address is the dscp server ip address because who is responding to the discovery message dscp server responding to the dscp uh, dscp server responding to the discovery message that is the reason it will it, it will add it is uh, its ip address right as a source ip address right guys by the way right to discover the dscp server you must require the ip address for dscp server dscp server cannot go and get the ip address from some other dscp server right so you must your dscp server must have the valid ip address configured now what is the source mac address of course source mac address is your dscp mac address right destination ip address currently client doesn't know the destination ip address so in this case dscp will add a destination ip address as a layer 3 broadcast address which is a 255.255.255.255 what with the destination mac address of course i got the client mac address from the dscp packet so of course that source mac address which i got it from the dscp uh, discovery uh, packet that i will put it as a destination mac address reverse right destination mac address right and it will give you the offer here you go you ask for the ip address this is your ip address 192.168.10.10 right maybe for 2 8 days of you can take this ip address for 8 days please right so basically guys look at over here right if you look at the source ip 192.168.10.100 which is a unicast source mac again it's a unicast destination ip address is the broadcast right and destination mac is again the unicast mac address so in this case dscp offer message broadcast in the network layer which is 255.255.255.255 and the unicast is in the data link layer so it is not possible always right broadcast ka reply broadcast ke andar right no 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 something once you get the broadcast right your response should be the unicast to the particular machine correct right same applicable for the arp as well as the dscp now offer message or i can say now it's a frame right received on the switch port number 0/2 switch will look at the destination mac address it's a layer to switch right layer 2 switch doesn't have the, any capability to see the layer 3 information right so layer 2 switch only will look at the destination mac address which previously learned right through the discovery message so this switch know where is this destination mac address 11aa so it will out that frame towards the interface fa0/1 right in the first stage you have switch receive the broadcast right propagate that broadcast across all the port broadcast received by the dscp server it will respond to the D uh, discovery packet right to the offer packet right in the offer packet your layer 3 is a broadcast but your layer 2 is a unicast 
is it clear now now next offer will receive by your dhcp server or i can say offer received by the dhcp uh, uh, dhcp client my bad client once client received the offer the next step is client request dhcp server okay i agree with the lease i agree with the ip address i agree with the submit mask i agree with the default gateway dns and then client request to dhcp server can you go and reserve this ip address for me correct now will it be a broadcast or unicast let's see now in this case your destiny layer 3 is the broadcast and layer 2 is again the unicast now request right in the request packet guys my source ip still it is a uh -oh, wait okay in the request packet my source ip is 0.0.0 come on prasad you already got the ip address from the dhcp server just few second back then no still not because dhcp server not yet acknowledge my request right once it will acknowledge my request then only i will go and assign the ip address to my machine clear that is the reason you got the ip address from the dhcp server right as a part of offer right you accept the offer and request dhcp server to reserve the ip address and then this server once this server give you the acknowledgement okay client i reserve your ip address for you which you already accepted right so then only my machine will get it but now what happened in the request packet right so in the request packet still my source ip address is 0.0.0.0 mac address is my source mac address client destination ip address still my broadcast address and destination mac address is my always be a now in this case dhcp why because dhcp server is in the same land that is the reason you are considering destination mac address as a dhcp mac address will have that scenario as well where dhcp server is not in your network in this case your dhcp server and the client within the network within the network i can say right if your dhcp server is out of the network we'll see later let's focus on the request packet right so in the request packet source ip 0.0.0 which is the your non ip source mac unicast destination ip address again broadcast layer 3 broadcast and it is this mac address specific for the dhcp server we have a switch in between right so for switch this is a unicast right the frame is a unicast because in the frame switch doesn't find the broadcast address layer to broadcast which is ff dot ff dot ff dot so for switch right it will be a unicast switch receive the request it will look at the destination mac address 11.bb it has a mac addressable entry where the exit interface is ff0/2 it will just send frame to the dhcp server now dhcp server no oh, okay this is the request this is the request means means client agree with my offer right when dhcp server the request from the client what does it mean it means client agreed right the whatever right i offer that offer agreed by the client okay then based on the request right what i will do guys here over here what i will do here i will reserve the ip address for the particular lease whatever lease we have right now the next once dhcp server reserve the ip address it will accept and acknowledge me acknowledge to the client right then again it's a packet right acknowledge packet right so in the acknowledgement packet your source ip address is the dhcp server ip address source mac it is the dhcp mac address again the destination ip address is a all 255 why because client is waiting for the acknowledgement baba once client will receive the acknowledgement then only client will permanently assign the ip address to the machine my bad not the permanently right whatever lease but particular lease it will configure the ip address on its lan card automatically right then destination ip is a all 255 destination mac address is a again the mac address of the uh, client and offer ip address 192 ocf 10.10 acknowledgement packet or frame i can say received by the switch 
for switch it's a unicast it will send it to the client client receive the acknowledgement wow happy moment right client receive the acknowledgement then what client will do right so client right simple right client will as soon as client receive the acknowledgement it automatically uh, uh, the client automatically assign the 192.168.10.10 ip address clear so finally your machine got the ip address okay so here is the ip address 192.168.10.10 mask slash 24 255.255.0 gateway 192.168.10.1 and the mac actually basically mac you will not get a mac address from the e server right it's a wrong right type you can see but three things you already got from the dscp okay so let's quickly recap right so basically dscp is a, the, a dynamic host configuration protocol right there are two roles in the dscp client role and a server role uh, okay server always use a 67 and the client always use a udp port number 68 right how does dscp work it always follow the dora process d o r a discovery offer request acknowledgement okay Discovery always sent by the client to the server uh, to discover the server, right? Offer always sent by the server to client, right? Request always generated by the client for the server and server always generate the acknowledgement for the client. Discovery always the layer to layer 3 broadcast, right? Offer always the layer 3 broadcast but layer 2 unicast. Okay, request always layer 3 broadcast but again layer 2 unicast and offer always layer 3 broadcast but layer 2 unicast. Clear? Perfect. Thank you so much. In the next lecture, we focus on the lab. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Stay tuned.